What's going on Spartans? Welcome back and today we're going to be doing an episode of Expo Extermination. Now many of you know when you click up here on the info you can actually scroll down and see all the things you've completed. Now I've done many of the achievements. Uh, I'm getting close to Conqueror. I'm getting close to Unbreakable. Actually I'm not even close to Unbreakable. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Alright so we do have a couple things we're working on though. And uh, let's go right to this show you. 200 gems for Expo Exterminator. That means I destroyed 2,500 Expos in multiplayer battles. That's insane. So a nice free 200 gems. Definitely, definitely worth it. And a big appreciation for that. So what we're going to do is instantly start gemming up our troops in Queen. And of course, we need these guys to hustle. So, actually, no, we only need one of those. Okay, cool. So I'm going to show you guys some defenses. Uh, these are going to be defensive fails. Just want to show you the extermination, though. And then uh, show a couple of defensive fails here and show what actually beat my base because I'm going to be showing what fails on my base. So I figured why not show both sides. I know you guys probably want to see something different. And not many people are willing to show how their defense fails. So why not do that? Here we go, though. As you can see, the queen just went down on the enemy side. Only the golems are alive here. So he's going to start dropping out his king. And then, of course, I'm guessing he's going to drop a dragon or two. But uh, we shall see how he drops his troops. With those golems alive, though, his king does target my queen, and it looks like, oh man, he does kill her. Wow. So the hogs come out, and the hogs actually are going to destroy the Inferno Towers right here on the left side. And got rid of that Air D2, which is huge. Now, that allows for the troops to destroy the Town Hall and work their way into the base. He's got the win. I would have walked away at this point after I let my troops die out. But he actually does continue to drop troops, which makes no sense to me. I'm going to speed it up here for you. You can see here, one dragon gets just raped. I mean, it was bad. You saw how many things flew at him? Anyway, he drops a few minions down, and now he's going to actually drop more dragons, which I don't understand. Why would you continue to drop? Well, you're not going to get the 50%, so what's the point of attacking more? You're not winning any loot. Maybe he was hoping into the Dark Elixir? I don't really know what he was doing here, but that's like the second dragon he's dropped. And I think he drops one more after this, which is completely shocking. I don't know. If you guys see something I didn't see and why you do that, please tell me in the comments below. By the way, your question for the day, let's see. Do you guys like war clans or do you like farming clans or pushing clans or do you like hybrid clans? If so, tell me what you like and we will talk about it. So he won like 50,000, which is like nothing. And uh, yeah, got like a little bit of uh, trophies, nine trophies. Not a big deal. Let's see. Let's do a go wipe. Here we go. Go wipe it is. And we're going to speed it up for you guys. And slow it down. Now, the golems are the key, guys. If you drop golems first in my base, you're going to win. And that's just because all the defenses get distracted. And I can't kill your P.E.K.K.A.s or anything else. So that's the bad news. However, excuse me. If you do not drop those golems first, your P.E.K.K.A.s will get ripped to shreds. Which is how I win a lot of these gold wipe ones. And I only win a couple of them. But it is funny to watch a max gold wipe lose against a town hall snipe, which is trapped. I mean, that's just pretty entertaining. He does have to spend a ton of loot, though, just to take out the Town Hall. And he doesn't have the power to take the 50% at that point because you do need to focus everything right there in the center on that Town Hall. However, I don't get these people that keep dropping troops. Like, you're at 14%. You got the Town Hall. Why are you dropping more wall breakers and your heroes and all your... Like, I don't get it. What's going on here? Like, am I missing something? Is this, like trying to embarrass yourself i'm not really sure someone needs to explain it to me but this is like every single defense that someone beats me at the town hall they don't just leave like only the high level players like level 40 heroes come in they drop their heroes they take the town hall they leave and i love them because i get like one freaking trophy and that's when you're in champions league those 4k guys are really awesome they let's go ahead and drop their king queen and take it out and leave but uh everyone else here just attacks like all day long even though it doesn't get them anything i i don't know anyway we'll go on to the next one and we'll show one more for you guys all right, so we are going to show, let's see, actually, you know what? We can show one I won. Uh, you know, it's supposed to be a losing one. We'll show the, we'll show the ones we lost. Ooh, I can do revenge. Let's try and do revenge next because we are in Masters 1, so I should be able to revenge somebody at some point. Let's show a Belinian fail, though, against me. He, uh, he beat me, I should say. I failed. Anyway, he does drop down one minion and pulls out the uh, air bomb there, and let's see what else is going on here. I'm going to speed it up quite a bit. Da, 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 da. Okay, so he enrages his guys, drops down the loons, and they absolutely wreck. Now, I do have minions in the clan castle. The number one reason I fail, guys, 
has got to do with the fact that I don't have a full clan castle. So sometimes I request and log off and get attacked immediately, and I only have like a couple minions in my clan castle, and that is when I lose. Um, if I do a full clan castle of like archers and minions, I never, ever, ever lose. So that's the good news with this, but uh, yeah, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll definitely see you then. I'm going to be doing an episode on how to make sure you win every war, so stay tuned for that. That's going to be huge, and I know everyone's really pumped to find that out. It is an awesome video, so definitely stay tuned. See you guys soon. Peace.